Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be talking about how to load an arbitrary number of columns in MATLAB. If you haven't already, take a look at my load CSV data video. Uh, this is the code from the other video, which shows that you can load in a data file like this, a CSV file that has this three columns in my case, and you can load it in with using text scan like this, where you specify that since there are three columns and each column has a float variable, you put this in here so the percent %f says load in the float uh, number. Now, if you have a lot of columns, then you would have to keep saying, you know, %f, 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 and if you have a lot of columns up in the hundreds of columns, then you don't want to have to keep writing this. So what's a way that you can that you can easily do this? I'll show you right here. If we open up the data file in the similar way, now we're going to be using this data file that has 10 columns with 15 numbers in each column. So I'm going to open up that file using fopen as before, and this is called datafile.csv. And then I'm going to construct the loading string, and the loading string is just a string that we're going to be using in place of this here that will let us specify the number of columns that we want to use. So I'm going to start it off with an empty string like this. I'm going to specify the number of columns in my file, which is 10 in our case. And then I'm going to loop over i. It's equal to 1 in steps of 1 for the number of columns. And I'm going to concatenate this string load, so string load, with percent f space and and this is going to keep adding for every column that we want it's going to keep adding a percent f space to our loading string that we're going to put into the text scan the reason i didn't use string cat here is because the spaces disappear so this is a nice way to do it uh, read data in from the csv file in the same way that we did before read data is equal to text scan fid and now instead of using this up here we're just going to put in string load we don't have any header lines in our file, so I'll put a zero, and then I'll spell delimiter correctly. And this is still a comma-separated file, so we still have the delimiter as a comma. And now if we run this, we can see that the string load that we have should have 10% Fs in here. And then if we open up read data, you'll see that there are 10 15 by 1 columns that have our data in it. And so if you change the number of columns here to 20, in this case, then you can run it and you'll see that the string load now changes to having 20 of these. So you can specify any number of columns as long as you know the number of columns that you have in your file. Thanks for watching.